All right, people, what's up, everyone? It's time, ooh, it's time for them Oscars nominations. Um, I'm just gonna straight up tell y'all. I haven't been watching a lot of Oscar movies lately. I have I have some time. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, though, again, double not gonna lie. Uh, I, have, I have no interest in the Oscars, the show itself. Just the show, okay? Of course, if a movie is amazing and it wins, awesome. Just the show itself, I don't have an interest in anymore. I haven't watched the last, like, three, I want to say. 2020 was the last one. So, 21, 22, wait, did, did, yeah, 21 was, like, a weird one. 22 and 23, so this is 24. So, the last three I didn't watch, uh, which was upsetting for 2022 for obvious reasons. But, uh, oh, okay, we're getting, wait, it's a Thursday. What? Um, anyway, so I'm not expecting... Um, too much here. Things are popping up. Hold on. What the hell? What the hell happened? I heard like talking. What? But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be watching some movies. I want to watch Poor Things. I want to watch a lot of Anatomy of a Fall. So many. Wait, was it? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, a bunch of movies. Past Lives I want to watch. But anyway, so uh, I'm going into this. Live Not rooting exactly for particular movies, but I still want to see this, so just warning. I'll leave the subtitles on. Who's uh, announcing it? Oh. Good morning from Los Angeles. Do they, they usually do presen presenters? Around the world. Good afternoon and good hey. evening. Hi. Welcome to one of the most morning. exciting days of the year. The Oscars nominations Christmas? announcement. With our membership Today, I of finally learned 11, to love thousand film industry artists and leaders, our claim to finally go outside and figure out what this grass thing is on the ground. Awards, the Academy of Motion it's Pictures, fun, Arts and green Sciences, green stuff the on the ground of global cinema. We recognize and celebrate all aspects of the film industry and the diverse oh, yeah? talented the porn individuals awards? who make movies. The Oscar nominees in almost every category were voted upon Destroyed. by peers in their branch. Peter. Actors vote for actors, film editors vote for film editors, costume designers for costume designers, and so on. Yep. Best Picture nominations, however, are determined by all Academy members. This year we had incredible voter turnout. I would say they usually pick the wrong one, but that's not always the case recently. countries. Today, we are thrilled to announce that our members... <laughs> That's a lot of countries. The ...best cinematic achievements of 2023. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our hosts who will announce okay. the nominees. Actress Zazie Bates and oh. actor oh, that is... Jack Quaid. No. Jack Quaid? From her... Dude! Yo, where's Rich Evans? Bring Rich Evans out! Where is he? He's in the crowd? He's a part of the Academy, right? Hello, Yo! Everyone. Hello, everyone. I am so honored to be here. How about oh you? Oh my God! Me? They're yeah, both from I'm super animated super shows too. To He's Superman. She's the one nobody countries. likes in Invincible. And standing here now is Amber. such a surreal experience. Amber, my little girl. I didn't know that's how you so pronounce. To be here. Honestly, my adult self is really excited to be here. So. For anyone in the film industry, no matter where you're I from, just woke to up. be recognized <laughs> by the Academy is a dream come true. Oh. To be nominated can be life-changing. So, let's get into it. Okay. For best okay. performance by oh, an actor okay. in a supporting role. All right, let's see the nominations. Who, who, who up? Sterling K. Brown okay. in American Fiction. Okay, okay, all right. I feel like he didn't get nominated for... Oh, Robert De Niro, of course. Robert De Niro I'm watching that very soon. It just came out on Apple TV, right? I still got like a few days Robert until my... Jr. And the Jr. I mean, probably the winner. Any more Roberts? Close. Gosling got, 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 got it. He's the best thing in the movie. Everybody knows. And oh, my Ruffalo for Poor Things. That's sick. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's any snubs. I'm sure there are. The nominees for Achievement but in I'm not good. I'm just going... I'm going to react to the... Okay. Barbie. Costumes on. Just Wonka, put it up there. That hat looking good. Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, yep, that's me. That's gonna win. Oh no, the Barbie will win. What am I talking about? Oppenheimer. Yo, where Wonka at? And poor things. Snoop for Wonka. He had a big hat. <laughs> Actually, those are all great choices. For achievement in makeup and hairstyling. From what I've seen, from the ones I. Golda. Poor things might actually take that. Okay, Golda. That is the another one I want to see. Maestro. On the lesser end, but I do want to watch it. Oppenheimer. Yeah, that's a good one. 
poor things. I really want to see poor things. And Society uh, of the Snow. Oh, whoa. Didn't that just come out on Netflix? Wasn't it like no, based on um this year's nominees? What was it called? Uh, that that one story where they eat each other in the article. The after. Okay, watch that, okay. Invincible. Oh, <laughs> I got her to say that. Ah, I know what you're function. doing. I see what. Red, white, and blue. They should have cut to the bloody t and title. For the that. wonderful story of Henry Sugar. That's the only one I've heard of. Oh, because it's for what's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've heard that title before. For best I didn't know what's animated short film. That. The nominees are. Oh, this is nominated for something this year. <laughs> Letter to a pig. <laughs> <laughs> what was that one that had the funny senses. name that one time? Like something dick or whatever, and someone Our said uniform. it. I think it was Rizzo and Med was just like dick. That's right, I said it. Pashy Fuck you. Dam. I'm getting my goddamn. I'm getting my goddamn paycheck. <laughs> and war is over. Inspired uh, by the music okay. of John and Yoko. I was just John. And then I'm on no Yoko. I'm on no no code to Yoko. And now, we have the first of Yoko the Ono, by the way, still alive. honoring writers. And she's like 400 first years old. For adapted screenplay, the nominees are American Fiction. I really want really to watch American Fiction. Poor Jefferson. Huh. Hello. Barbie. Uh, Written by Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach. I guess adapted because Barbie's a thing. I guess sure. Written for the screen by Based Christopher book, Nolan. Yeah. Poor things. Poor things. Screenplay by Tony McNamara. And the Zone, Zone of Interest. interest. That's, the, that's, the, that's the other one I really <laughs> want to watch. I, that one sounds so fucking. And well, it sounds interesting. Screenplay, it sounds the nominees up, are. I really want to watch that one too. Anatomy of a Fall. Anatomy of a Fall. It's screenplay, on my list. I have like 12 movies I need to watch. And Artur Arari. The Holdovers. That's another one. Written by David Hemingway. And you know what? So far, I think that's going to win. Maestro. I'm not going to do predictions Written right now. By Bradley Cooper. Even though I just Josh did. I'm not going to do predictions for each award. If I if I got May a good feeling, I'll say it. I can't believe that, that movie's solid, but I, I'm not hearing like amazing things. I, I, the reviews have been great, but from people like... And past Lives. Lives. There you go, finally. Hey, yeah, people like losing it. I can see Past Lives winning that, and that's maybe it. The Holdovers... The nominees I think Paul Giamatti won at Golden Globes, right? In a supporting role. Emily Blunt. In no, 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 it wasn't at Golden Globes. It was at uh, somewhere else. Danielle Brooks oh, in Blunt. The Color Purple. Okay. I heard she's very good. America Ferreira in Barbie. Oh, really? Judy Foster no. In she had that one scene that everybody and loves. I'm, I, and I was like, yeah. I mean, she did a good job with it. I don't know about her. Everybody else, though. I've heard Divine, Divine's going with it. I keep hearing she's to the nominees fucking great. Oh, we're going to go to a break. There are more to come. Yeah. Stick with us. We will be right back with more nominations. Is he going to say them? That's, you got someone from Red Letter Media. You're not letting him speak a lot. He needs to talk a lot. He, that's a star right there. Star is born moment when he's on Red Letter Media. All right, so actually the good thing is I waited until it was like a couple minutes in. Because I knew this was going to happen, so we can actually skip some of this. I won't be able to do it again later if they take another break, which... I, how many awards have they done so far? Like six? So, it is 8.41 right now, actually. That's funny enough. So, we'll let... It, we'll play... Alright, it went black, so that's good. Gore reacting to the void. Oh, whoa. Someone put something in here that I'm reacting to. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Let's go. I love that. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, okay. Welcome back. Welcome Live. back. Live. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Live from the Academy in Beverly Hills, where we have the privilege of announcing the nominees for the Oscars. The next what an round of sex perverts so in Hollywood. Well, That's next. right. Here they are. For achievement in music, original song. Okay. The Fire Inside from Flamin' Hot. <laughs> the Flamin' Hot Cheetos movie? What? <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm just kidding. You gonna say it? I'm just Ken from Barbie. Uh, oh, come on, you gotta say it with a little bit more zest. Come on. It never went away from American Symphony. Okay. 
I feel like that was that was that nominated for I know that was a song oh, for my people okay. from Killers of the Flower Moon. Okay, uh And what was I okay. made for? From yeah, that's a really Eilish song. I feel like there's a I, I'm not Next there's up, something there that's the definitely 100 percent Yo, where's Peaches? No, nah, I wasn't American gonna nominate. There's no way. Okay, that was for just American fiction. I really wanna watch American fiction. Ew, no, 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 ew, hell no. I love John Williams, that score was mediocre. No, that should not be here, no. That's only there because it's John Williams. If it wasn't John Williams, it wouldn't be there. 100%, it's very, very, even the, the way, they, they used the theme at the wrong time. All right, hold on, let me go back, because I kind of... Poor things. Oppenheimer's gonna win. Uh, I, I think. I mean, that's that movie is only like is like at now least two hours of score. For best documentary like loud score. Or two. I mean, like chunky score. Bobby Wine, the People's President. Have heard of that one? The Eternal Memory. Nominees to be determined. Okay. All right. Four daughters. Okay. Four daughters I've heard of. To kill a tiger. No. And 20 days I don't, I don't, See, I, I, like at this point, I'm so out of the loop. I, I'm gonna need to change my name soon. But I've said that every time. But really, I'm gonna because like I used to be all about movies, and then I slowly slipped away. <laughs> Morbius stuff. <laughs> I'm watching this Oscars thing on fucking Morbius post right here. Let's go. <laughs> Next for best documentary short, short film, film, of course. The nominees are. The ABCs of book banning. Okay. Woo! Here's Bendel's books! Oh, Rock. I thought that said the Barbie. I'm like, oh no. Island Creeping in, in other between. ones. Other nominations. The Last Repair Shop. So Barbie's getting a Best Picture and nomination, obviously. Nine Nine and Waipo. Hell yeah, yo, shout outs to Nine Nine, let's go! Um, For Best International American Fiction Feature Film. Past the nominees lives, probably. are. Alright, here we go. Past Lives? Wait, is that? Yeah, Io yeah, Capitano, Italy. I haven't seen it yet, so. <laughs> I've never even seen a trailer Perfect for it. No. Okay. Oh, oh, God, Godzilla should be here. Society Come on. I keep hearing Spain. Society of Snow is good. I didn't even think it like amazing reviews on thing, but I heard it's really good. No, gods, come on. And it's so annoying. Interest, United Kingdom. Yeah, that's probably going to win. But um, that's so and annoying. Best animated feature oh, here film. we go. All right, Can't hold on. Spider-Man, I'm going to try it. Spider-Man, if Wish is here, I'm going to be up, so upset. Nimona better be here. Uh, t the Turtle, the TMNT should be here. And I swear to God, if Wish gets over on fucking any of them. Like, Elemental, fine. Wish, I'll be fucking annoyed if, if it got over either of those two. Because that's bullshit, and that just <laughs> shows it right there. It's the bullshit. The boy and the hair. Oh, yeah, that might win. Yeah. That or Spider-Man. Elemental. Yeah, I, I figured it will be in there. It's... Nimona. Yes! That's a great movie. Robot Dreams. Oh, okay. Oh, I heard Robot Dreams. Dreams is really good, yes. And Spider-Man. Okay, you know what? Wish Spider didn't make it. All right, all right, all right. Oh, which, by the way, I think, uh, I want to say um, Huey over there was in uh, for like a brief second. Um, uh, so, yeah, TMNT didn't make it. What else didn't make it? Why are there Elemental, Nimona, Robot Dreams, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Man. I'm so, so, sure something here is obvious. So, wish didn't make it. I keep hearing Wish. Felt like AI made it. Here so. are the nominees for achievement in production design. Wait, wait, wait. No Trolls 3? What the fuck? No. Barbie. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? That one I actually agree with. No Barbie, for sure. Killers of the Flower Moon. From what I've seen, yeah. <laughs> Napoleon. Yeah, eh, all right, fine. Oppenheimer. Yep. And yep. Four Things. Yep, all right. Uh, again, there's probably going to be snubs here, but... Next up, for achievement in film editing, the nominees are... <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody again. The best ed edited movie of all time. Anatomy of a Fall. Yep. <laughs> Anatomy of a Fall. <laughs> the Holdovers. Uh. Killers of the Flower Moon. And Aquaman 2. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer definitely so far has the most nominations, right? And Killers of the Flower Moon and Poor Things might. I, I feel like Barbie didn't get as many, but it makes sense. Like film editing. You know. 
It's a good movie, but like. And for achievement in sound, here are the nominees. Okay. The creator. Oh shit! Okay, sick. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Mission Impossible. Whoa! Ben let's go. One. Part one. They're gonna have to change that name soon. Hop on I was just about to say Hop and Iron. Poor things. And zone of the interest. Zone right? of interest. Oh, that makes total sense. Ooh, people lose it. That one makes sense, especially when you know what the premise is. Ooh, that might. I don't know. It'll probably be Oppenheimer, but Zone of Interest could possibly take it. Just because of the... Yeah, look up the premise. I don't Next, know the nominees for achievement in visual effects. Oppenheimer will be there. Oh, actually, no. No, Oppenheimer won't count, right? It wasn't not on the short list because, because supposedly there really wasn't any visual effects, even though there... Let's not, let's not fuck around. There probably was a little bit here and there. But um, Spider-Man might be here? I don't know. We'll see. The creator. The oh, yo, creator got nominated twice. That's sick. Godzilla minus one. How? <laughs> yeah, people lose their shit. Why the fuck was it not international, you motherfuckers? Guardians of the Galaxy. The fuck is this? Three. Why was it not international, you fucks? Mission Impossible. Oh, okay. I mean, Guardians. Oh, yeah, Guardians. Fine. Yeah, that's a good. And Napoleon. Yeah, they they, they were, no, not Napoleon. I saw like fucking five shots in the trailer where the CG looks shit. Are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Cinematography. The Oppenheimer had apart. visual effects. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, the career again, that's cool. El Conde, okay. I'll probably do that. Killers of the Flower Moon. Oppenheimer? Maestro. Alright, Maestro. Then Oppenheimer. Unless there's another... Okay, I don't know. Oppenheimer. In between M and O. Napoleon. And <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> All right, poor things back in it. For performance by an actor. All right, we're, we're wrapping it up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's me. Okay. Oh shit. All right. Sick. Coleman Domingo. Oh, I've heard he's so good. I love Coleman Domingo. Shout out. Hey, that guy's so underrated. Paul Giamatti. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, maybe they're not doing ABC order. Oh, they're doing ABC order from from the um the last name. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm pausing. I'm pausing for dramatic effect. You know who I'm. They're going. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I thought they were going for Jeffrey Wright. Sick. All right. Cool. I've heard he's great. So no Leonardo DiCaprio for Killers of Flower Moon. I kept hearing he's amazing. I'm sure there's more. Yeah, I would have to think about it. I'm sure there's there's some big some big snubs there, but I don't, I can't argue. I mean, obviously I can't argue because I've only seen fucking one of these movies. But um, from what I've heard, I, that all sounds right to me. So if you're gonna do five nominations, some are not gonna make for it. I guess. Performance by an actress in a leading role. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this is this audience. Ooh. Okay, head. okay, yeah. Sorry, she's getting that. Lily the winner, the winner, the winner, the winner. She's the winner. Okay, for who, who I, I want to say is also in the um the. Wait, I want to wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. That would be hilarious. She got nominated again. I heard she's great in it. She usually is. And Emma Stone, poor things. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, this seems right. I want to say Sandra Huller is also in um, uh, Zone of Interest, also. I want, isn't she? I think she is. For Unless it was another movie she was in. Because I looked her up and was like, oh, she's in that too? Justine Trier. Oh, Trier. okay, sick. It's going to be Barbie Lady. Martin Scorsese, okay. Killers of Martin Scorsese, well, they skipped B, so maybe not. Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer. All right, there is a woman, Yorgos so. Lanthimos, poor okay. things. Justine, I'm assuming, is a lady. And Jonathan Glazer, the zone of interest. Okay, hey, that's a good five. That is a good five. Martin Scorsese, Yorgos Lanthimos, and Christopher Nolan, who I think will probably take it. Um... I keep hearing so many great things about both Anatomy of a Fall and Zone of Interest. I really want to. And now, for Here a it final is. category. Here we I go. Can't wait! Uh, Let's read them together. Oh, at the, the same time. <laughs> you can't understand what they're saying. Of the year Let's say it, but backwards. Are All right, here we go. Barbie. American 
Fiction. Okay. <laughs> Barbie, the winner. Ben LeClaire, Nikos, oh. Haramigos, Cora Jefferson, I'm sorry, what was that? and Jermaine Johnson, producers. And oh, okay, now the middle fall, all right. Lovely so far, so good. Shiny. Nothing out of the ordinary so here. Is Barbie getting on me? Barbie. <laughs> you waited for that one. Margot Barbie. Tom I actually produced Brenner, those, right? Producers. Yep. The Holdovers. Holdovers, okay, Mark sick. Johnson, producer. Is Path Lives going to get in there? Killers of the Flower Moon. Spider Man across Dan the Spider Man. <laughs> Bradley Thomas, and Aquaman Marcus too. Sessi, and Daniel Lupi. <laughs> they were called Aquaman and Lost Kids. They just called Aquaman too. Maestro. Maestro, okay. Bradley Cooper, Steven yep. Spielberg, Fred Berner, Amy Durning, and Christy McCosco Krieger. Producers. Right on. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Emma so Thomas, they do they they still Charles do eight Lerner, or nine? I can't remember. Nolan, so next producer. will be Zone of Interest. Past lives. Past lives, yeah! I haven't even seen it yet. I'm happy it got nominated. Sick. I've heard it so producers. good. Poor things. things. Zone of interest. Come on. Ed so they got, they, they made. They, I, Lantimos, and I thought Stone they went back to like producers. eight or nine sometimes. And Zone of interest. Damn, they got ten. I don't remember if they had ten in the last couple of years though. All right, that's a that's a good list. No, hold on. let me let me let me fucking peep them. Oh, we can get rid of this sometime. Yeah, that's a good list. I mean, that's nothing there is super surprising. I think Past Lives is probably the most surprising. Maestro, I know some people will be like, what? But that's not surprising. Um, to me, at least. Uh, yeah, yeah, not looking bad. I mean, I would love Godzilla guy in there, but there's no way they're going to nominate there. They didn't even nominate it for fucking international. <laughs> I mean, it totally deserves to be in, in international. I don't give a fuck. Oh, this is Johnny the Loser. In it. Shut up. <laughs> you, you, you let the fucking movie about the the fish and the woman having sex win, which was a great movie, Shape of Water. But come on, don't don't you say oh monster movie can't be in there, <laughs> huh? Congratulations to this year's nominees. It's been an honor it's to been... be with all of you this morning, and to all the nominees, as we say in the biz, oh, she hit the mic. Break a leg. Oh, well, don't do that. Good luck to all the nominees. Don't do that. Watch that the hurts. Oscars live with host Jimmy Kimmel on Sunday, March 10th. Oh, this fuck. Year, oh, fuck. will start at a new time. God beginning one damn. Hour earlier Hugh, at Huey, can you just... Eastern and 4 p.m. Or, Jack, Pacific can on you... ABC. We look forward Rich Evans should... to celebrating right. with you. You get it. Who's Rich Evans? Why are you keep bringing him up? Oh, my God. Oh, that guy's asleep. I saw him. You know, that guy was ready to leave. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> I got right, right, right up my blog. <laughs> all right, March 10th. I knew it was like beginning of March. I wasn't too sure when. Um, all right, that was, that was actually, that went by pretty fast. And uh, you know what? I don't see too many problems. You know what? Fuck this. I'm going right on Twitter. Let's see. Uh, what's trending? Let's see. Oh, because she didn't get uh, nominated. Charles Melton, I guess. Ryan Gosling got nominated, but Margot Robbie didn't. Which, I don't, I, I think she was good. Oh yeah, Greta Gerwig did not get nominated. That's that's that is surprising. I'm I don't think Margot Robbie should have been nominated. I I, I think she's great, but I thought she was. I thought she was good, but I didn't think she was that amazing. Like Ryan Gosling, I thought was better. Sorry, he would be like, oh, white guy, but he he was just was, and and Margot Robbie has been amazing in so many movies. I was like, all right, here we go, this is the one because she's in amazing in a lot of movies, and a lot of those movies. Not many people see. I'm just gonna say, um, and uh, this was the one that made like 1.4 billion dollars, and it, she was good. Again, she was good, but I don't think she was amazing. There's a long stretch of that movie where she's just like catatonic for like 20 minutes. And, like I'm just like, all right, and it's not that long of a movie. It's like well, a little less than two hours, maybe a little more than two hours. Um, Ryan Gosling was the. Everybody says this. He was the best part of the movie. So, and I don't think Margot Robbie was that great. I'm sorry. I, I I didn't think she was great. I think she was good. I didn't think she was great. Emily Blunt, I also didn't think was like amazing in Oppenheimer, but she was good. Divine's gonna win that though. Um, uh, I don't think it's a snub. Margot Robbie, I don't understand. She yeah, she cried in one scene. Okay, but like I I just don't get it. Like I thought Ryan Gosling was great in it all the way throughout. Um, I think he conveyed a lot more where, where Margot Robbie for a lot of times, she's like, I don't know. I'm confused. And then at the end she cries a little bit. I, I don't know. I, I didn't think her performance was amazing. Personally, uh, John Williams should not have been nominated. I love John Williams. I'm glad he got nominated just because it's John Williams. <sighs> yeah. 
right? What the, oh, I didn't even think about that. Joe has, Sashi didn't get fucking nominated for Boy in the Heron and fucking John Williams. Oh, no, fuck that. No, fuck that. No, no, wrong, nay, false, redo, re, get Huey back. Get Huey back on the stage right now and tell him to read the right fucking card. We got a La La Land situation here. They fucked up. He read the wrong thing. There's no way in hell. I love John Williams. I get it. That score was mediocre. It was not good. They, they didn't even fucking use the Indiana Jones theme in the right time. Look, far away shot of him, like, wobbling on a plane, on, on, on a train. Da, 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 da. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just like, what? That's like when he does something cool, not like he, <gasps> on top of a fucking, like, train going 20 miles an hour. What the fuck? I, a far away shot, too. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and the rest of the score was not great. It was not memorable. It was very like simple too. I remember like there was like I'm like what the fuck is this? This is not. There's no way. This is AI. There's no way John Williams actually wrote all that. I mean he's like 93 years old. I love him to death. He's made some of the best music. Period. Not even movie music. Just music. But uh yeah, I think Pip Spivers deserves it more too. Uh, yeah, no, all right, let me see, America Ferrari getting in there is crazy, I, I, like, I, I didn't even think she was that great either, but Godzilla Minus One is a, um, Oscar nomination, so I don't want to hear, like, everybody's like, oh, oh, you, you, you're talking a lot about Margot Robbie, she's a woman, I just, I just want to rant about John Williams not, not deserving to be nominated, so I don't want to hear it, I want to way more of a rant about that than anything, so, fuck out of here with that yeah that's oh, that's that's not surprising though honestly that's not surprising Zach Zac Efron was fantastic in that movie um but uh yeah I mean yeah it, it, it was great everybody knows he was great that's definitely his best performance um okay I want to see what else was snubbed anybody else Gillian Murphy I mean he's getting one uh Greta Lee oh yeah yeah Greta Lee not being uh, nominated for uh, Past Lives Charles Melton of her was really good in uh was that May December he's in? What was he in again? <clears throat> I mean you say snub, but just because you like the, see, this is why I think it's annoying. Because everybody I everybody every every nomination for the most part I've seen, um that I saw there, uh, were for performances I heard were critically acclaimed. Um so sure, some people aren't gonna make it, but it's not like the other people deserved it less. Some of them did, like I just said, but not all of them. There's not that many. <laughs> Like, come on. I don't know. Like, look, there's not... Like, Julianne Moore, Natalie Portman, and Greta Lee are all, I'm assuming, best lead actress. Maybe Natalie Portman supporting. But, uh, like, would you really take out, like, maybe two or three people out of there? I'm sure some people would, but, like... I, I, I don't know. I've heard great things about everybody in the, most of the nominations, if I haven't seen it yet. Can't catch me now. Be serious. But it's can't catch me now. From that, I guess... I just don't understand the Margaret. Mar she again. She was she was good in the movie. I would never say she wasn't. I think the movie just got blew up a little bit too much. Like I just don't think it was amazing. I really don't. I, I like the message behind it. Like, like it's not exactly just like fuck men. Like a lot of people were saying. I just found the movie to be kind of slow at times. I like like there was a lot of fun moments, and then there was a lot of like. I thought like the Will Ferrell. All of those characters were annoying. They they came straight out of like a. Like a really shitty comedy almost. Um, and there was a lot of like the stuff with the other Barbies that was like, kind of like, I don't want to say cringe, but it wasn't like, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't hilarious to me. I don't know. Um, but I'm not upset about that getting nominated. I don't care. The bar Barbie uh, itself. Uh, uh, okay. I feel like Zach Efron should have been nominated for some. Sterling K. Brown getting in there though, that was actually a surprise because I don't think I saw it nominated for. The flaming hot song. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Zach Efron got sub. Yeah, there's Draven. Shout outs. Um What about these four? Oh yeah, I heard he was so good. Um from Sherlock. Uh fuck. He was in the flea bag show. I heard he was so good. I forgot what the movie's called. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Emma Stone was nominated four times. Wait. From Easy A. <laughs> I was trying to think of an obscure ass movie that's not like super obscure, but people don't talk about it anymore. I was gonna say super bad, but people still talk about that. Um, or, or I guess I could say, uh, 
Oh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. No one talks about Amazing Spider-Man 2. Ooh, Spider-Man! Paul GMI's best performance. Anyway, we're done. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the next time. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Goodbye.